Hey guys, if you want to know how we got these chitlins from this to this, just keep watching. I got you. Hey, the cleanest chitlins you've ever seen. See you in a minute. Bye. Okay, you see the water. Boom! Chilling time. Let's get these. Now, I say double wash, but no, no, no. There will not be. Uh -uh. Don't trust people's wash. Don't trust people's double wash, triple wash. Wash it yourself as well. Because as you can see, do them look like they've been washed? Do so y'all see they double washed, right? Look at this. I can't even really get up on it and get my... You see that? How you double washed? Huh? This is why you have to clean your chitlins. Now watch. I'll be back. See how clean the water is? I'll be all right. Here we go. See that? Look at that. But they are already clean, though. You see that? This is why. Let me just put my hands in here. I'm going to put it in here anyway. This is why you have to clean your own chitlins. They said they was clean. You see that? It's vitally important that you clean your chitlins. The chitlins were so scarce up in here in Michigan. You know, I usually get on Bessie's. But can find them, so we got what we had to get, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead on let these soak a minute, and when we get back, I'm gonna show y'all how I clean chitlins. Okay. All right. Now this next little tidbit might be too much for some viewers' eyes, so you might want to turn if you're a little squeamish. Just you know, FYI. But <laughs> here is the chitlins. Okay. Those are the ones I still haven't cleaned. Here is a little, this is what I have cleaned so far. Okay? And you see, this is just the first. I only did this this one time. It still has to go over another two times. But look at the water. Look at the water. Look at this water. See what I'm saying? And here is what came out of these here. This right here. Okay. That's it. I don't need to go through the whole thing. I just wanted to show you. But I will come back when I didn't clean these for the last time. And they're pretty much going to look like this. But I have to go over and make sure I get all the little extra whatever else may be in there. You know, give them a good little bit more cleaning. But that's it. Okay, guys, so here are the chitlins that I have cleaned, but still need to go another round. Okay, this is where this is clean, and this is right here. I wanted to show y'all about pulling off that membrane, I guess, or whatever. You know, you have to pull all of that out of there when you're cleaning chitlins. You know, this is not for the squeamish, for real. If you can't take it, well, don't stop the video, but just turn your head for a minute. You know, this is for people who like chitlins and just want to know how to clean them. You see this here? You got in on that, babe? You see that? That piece of, you want that out of there. Mm -hmm. And I usually come over here. I you take the cord out of there. I usually put all my... um little bits over there on the side. I pull off and dump there. So it's a three compartment over here, babe. So I go here. I'll put that in there so it can be rinsing. Then I'll be right here and I'm pulling. And when I get all of what, see all that coming off of there? You want all of that off of there to where you just have this, the meat right up in here. But this 
you want off of there. Okay? And you just take it, and I usually just take it and put it on the side like that there. All righty, you guys, come back over here on the clean. All right, so when we come back, we'll be all through with the chitlins, and I'll show you the absolute cleanest chitlins you've probably ever seen. No, just joking. I'll be back. Bye. Before you start peeling all that skin off, you open all this up because it's all mangled up. Just open it up. It don't look too bad once it's clean. This ain't clean yet, but you know. Oh, <laughs> all right. So this is the first wash I transferred over here. See that? It still got that sludge in it. See, that's why you have to wash them repeatedly. But they look so much cleaner now. You see that? You see that? All that mess is out of there. Let's see this here. See this here? See how you stretch and get this? And this is where you come through, get any of these extra little remnants out. You see that? That's all pretty much clean. You know, I'm going to go through. And then over here, see the water? That's, that's, that's it right there. You know. I'm going to rinse them one more time after this. I'll just rinse them because I know they'll already be clean. But you just go through, open that skin up, and look for anything over in the corners, over here, you know. Spread it out and just look and see if you see something. Should be totally clean, no grass, nothing, nothing. And for goodness sake, please use white pepper with chitlins. Never use black pepper with chitlins, you guys. You already know why. So, white pepper. <laughs> Nothing with color, period. A little salt, maybe, I guess. All right, that's it. All clean. All clean. Look at that water. Look at that water. One more rinse. Okay, I made it to the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't got nothing to do. Come check out MRTV and Mr. Quick. Mm -hmm. Time more satisfaction that is. See ya. We appreciate you guys. And what